Mr. Toad. Do something, Big B. Before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid c- You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. No. I'm not lying for someone when I don't know the reason. Sorry. It's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Yeah, I did. Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Ollie, you're out of paper towels and the... Uh, they're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. You said you wouldn't hurt me! You said you wouldn't run. This fucking lab dog. Come sniffing around this part of the world. Rich fucks in the woods need a shake to her. That right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm feeling pretty fucking pissed off right now. If I'm honest, I'd like to smash everything in this room. Is that a threat? Depends on how much you like the furniture. I didn't think that was funny, in case you were waiting for me to laugh. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You don't know anything. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. You'd be talking to the piece of shit that did this. Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... I'm trying to help you, Bigby. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No. Didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I just said that. Is there something... Do you hear that? Yeah. Please. 
please. I'm sorry. Just make it stop, please. We have to go, now. What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. the woodsman chained up to a post last night. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, thanks to you, there's been at least some hope in this whole dreadful affair. I'm confident he has some information about the slayings. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. And he's already to the point of confession. Yeah, good. I've got questions for him. Well... We all do. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, Everything's gotten so confused. Did she, um, uh, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Bigby. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to... have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. As I can. I met a maid who asked my trade, a sailor John, said I. And away, you Santi, my dear Annie. Oh, you New York girls, can't you dance the polka? Look sharp, Woodsman. You have visitors. Why is he singing? Some sort of pathetic defensive mechanism. Never mind that, though. He will tell us eventually who killed Snow White. I have too many methods to inspire him. Bluebeard, I told you not to touch him until we returned. I didn't. Well, barely. 
And yet you saw fit to retrieve it. It's hardly been used. Yet. Hello, Sheriff. Come to help? Because I think I have a secure handle on things. Help? No. I'll be doing the questioning from now on. Oh, really? Let me tell the story. I can tell it all. About the mountain boy who ran illegal alcohol. <sighs> Woody. That you, Bigby? I didn't kill that girl, Wolf. And I don't have a thing to tell you, so get me the fuck out of these straps. Save your energy. You'll need it later. We're gonna, all right? But we have to have a little chat first. Snow White is dead. I'll tell you what I already told this, Blue Dandy. I didn't kill anybody. I, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Look, I got questions and I know you have answers. Whether or not they're the answers I want, well, I guess we'll find out. Back at the bar, why'd you run? Look, I got nothing to say, so just... just let me go. Please, just let me go. Do you see now what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this? I'll take care of it. What are you planning to do, exactly? Don't forget what we talked about. I just want to talk. See what he knows. Oh, give me a break. We need answers, Bigby. Though it's ultimately up to you, of course. Loosen these, will ya? I ain't going nowhere. Come on, man. They're cutting off circulation. <sighs> you want to tell me why you ran now? I don't know what to tell you. I ran because I didn't want trouble. I didn't kill that girl. I have no damn clue what's going on. You told me he was at the point of confession. He was. He is. He said Snow wasn't even supposed to be there. Now what do you exactly take that for? He knows what's happening. All right, that's something. Did you say that, Woody? Where are you talking about? Where was she supposed to be? What was supposed to happen? She was... nothing. Nothing was supposed to happen. It's my own shit, all right? Just forget it. Where's... where's my stuff? I want to smoke. You, you took my smokes. We, uh, confiscated his belongings. For the time being. This was all we could find on him in any case. Nothing exceptional to speak of. Much like the man himself, I'd say. to those girls, to Snow White. Let me handle this. Tell me what you meant by Snow wasn't supposed to be there. You've got it all wrong. I, I can't. Just leave it alone. I don't want to talk about it. Just a waste of fucking time. Snow wasn't supposed to be where? Where was she supposed to be? I didn't... I didn't say Snow, okay? I never said that. Yes, you did. She wasn't supposed to even be there. She, that's it. Not Snow. I, I don't know fucking anything about Snow. Okay, that's something. You weren't talking about Snow, but who did you mean? Who wasn't supposed to be there? I... I can't get into it. You ever sober? 
Let me... Let me get a swig of that. Want some? Back off, Bluebeard. This isn't your job. Get your answers, or I'm taking over. Not gonna happen. Woody? Who wasn't supposed to be there? The girl. Which girl? I can't... Just... Just let me go. Please. We're so close, Woody. Just tell us the rest. What's going on? The girl... It was... Faith, all right? Faith. Faith? This is about her? I was expecting someone else, and this girl I didn't even know shows up. Who were you expecting? I, uh, I don't know. Talk! Now! No one's behind anything. This... I can't get into it. It's my own personal shit, so fuck off! What's that? You want to know what this is? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Take a good fucking look. Take a good long look. Etch it into your fucking memory. I told you, I have no goddamn clue about what's going on. I didn't have nothing to do with it. Who were you expecting? Lily. Lily? Who's Lily? Lily is Holly's sister. Holly? The bartender? From the Trip Trap? Her sister's... Yeah. Her sister's a prostitute. I was a regular of hers, okay? I paid, she did her thing, and that was it. When Faith came to the door, it just set me off. Lily usually conked me if I didn't have cash. Faith didn't want to give me a break. Just please, don't, don't tell anyone, Bigby. Gren and her, that whole bar, they just, they wouldn't understand. Well, congratulations, Sheriff. We've been here for God knows how long, and what do we have to show for it? A thorough retelling of the woodsman's sexual misadventures. This barbarian knows more than he's letting on. Can't continue to treat him like some stupid American waif. I really think it's going the best that it can. And you have no imagination, I'm sorry to say. He's talking, all right? My methods work fine. No, they don't. They're not working at all. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. <clears throat> what do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now! Snow White is dead. She was one of us, not one of them. Snow! What's going on down here? Snow.
hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I didn't lay a hand on him. I wanted to do things the right way, but Bluebeard had other ideas. I tried to stop him, Snow. Yeah. You really scared us. If we'd just known you weren't actually dead... I was working on this case. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I'm glad you took care of things. Thanks. Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're... not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. I don't think it's about you. There's something else going on here. Maybe. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? I'm the Sheriff Snow. I go out and do the dirty work to keep you all safe. And what am I here for then? I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore! I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once I'm and... not yours to lose! I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know... What? Just be nice, okay? I'm always nice. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Pity these can't solve murders. Well... That's appropriate. The moon. Usually this is about deception or confusion. But for me, well, who knows? I hope you can find what you're looking for. And acids. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. Snow's perfume. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. 
Are you ready to examine the body now? In a minute. When you're ready. Oh, that's enough. Uh, Mira, vanish! Cancel! No. What the hell are you doing? What? I wasn't touching nothing. What's going on? Don't worry, no harm done. What were you doing with the mirror, Toad? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. I was just having a laugh. We've been waiting here a long time. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? It's okay. Are you... okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. Just tell me what you saw. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> It's okay, son. Take your time. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I thought I thought she was gonna pull me down too, cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I'm really good at it. Is there something else you want to say? Please. Don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. Leave him alone, Toad. He's my son. I've set boundaries for a reason. This is a special circumstance. Leave him alone. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. They said... They said, stop laughing at me. <laughs> Did you hear anyone laughing? No. <laughs> Sheriff. Did you see who it was? No. Bigby, he's frightened. Okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there, and I ran home, that's all. I promise! I want to go home. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> you did a good job, kid. Come on, then. That went about as well as I expected. 
<sighs> you want to go look at the body now? In a minute. When you're ready. Hey, Mirror. Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. What were you showing Mr. Toad and his son? Cinderella selling shoes, Rapunzel, Rose, and of course there's you. And I can't help note that you did not rhyme. Do try to stick to the rules next time. Yeah, I'll do that. Mirror, mirror, show me Lily. And yeah, I think this rhyming thing is silly. Some things cannot be revealed. Once again, these lips are sealed. Figures. Okay, Mirror, can you see... Where the fuck is Tweedledee? Mirror, mirror, show me Holly the Troll, or uh, I'll throw you down a hole. No need for threats. Where can I find Tweedle Dunn? Uh, that piece of scum. Also, I'd like you to get me some information on this neighborhood watch program that the Mundys have. I believe I already have some pamphlets on file. You want to go look at the body now? Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Come on. <laughs> 